Father David O'Connell. There are things, however, that we do and things that we don't do precisely because we are a Catholic university. One of the things that's an outgrowth of our mission is a new initiative that you'll probably hear a lot about in the next couple of days. Uh, it's spearheaded by our provost, our deans, some of our faculty, and it's called the First Year Experience. And we've been at this for a long time at the university, and we've come to learn that it's so important for us to try to engage with our students in smaller groups. This is an attempt to focus specifically upon you as freshmen, to engage you in smaller groups with mentors assigned to you in subjects like English, or philosophy, or theology. And as I said, you'll hear more about this later, but it's a great initiative. Take advantage of it. It's a wonderful opportunity, and it will plug you into Washington as well. The Catholic University, as I said, it stands in the center and at the heart of the Catholic Church. I don't know whether you're aware of this, but this is the nationally designated church, university of the Catholic Church in our country. This is the one institution that has that claim. So the teachings, the values, the practices of the Catholic Church, they're not up for grabs here. They're the basis of our mission. They're the basis of our policies. They're the basis of our campus life. As an institution, we're pro-life. As an institution, we're pro-family. As an institution, we're pro-human dignity at every stage. And we're not ashamed of it. And we'll never apologize about our Catholic identity and mission, not in the least. And because we have these convictions as an institution, as a community, we can and do welcome people of other faiths. You don't have to be Catholic to go here. We welcome you. We're happy that you're here. And we're happy that you can share in our mission as well. And we'll support you as you grow in your faith as well. But it is the Catholic University of America. Our name says it all, and we mean what we say. In addition to our Catholic identity and mission, we're located in the capital of the United States. Arguably the most powerful and the most interesting, one of the most interesting cities in the whole world. Washington really is in a sense of it's your classroom and an opportunity for incredible front row learning to some of the most important things in the world. We all know right now there's this debate on health care, on the economy. This is where so much of it is happening, and you'll get to see it and participate in it because you live here. There are 12 universities in Washington, D.C., countless museums, as you've heard already, cultural activities, think tanks, research centers, whatever you want. There's always, always something to do in this city. The trick is to know when and how. Some people come to Washington, perhaps have heard different things, they come to Washington worrying about safety. Well, in some parts of the city you should. But you need to know this is a major metropolitan city like every other major <coughs> metropolitan city in this country with all the advantages, and with all the challenges and the difficulties that go into that. So before you venture out, students, find out where you're headed and travel there safely. Make sure you can get back. Be smart. And take other people with you when you go until you really get to know the city well. In addition to Catholic identity and mission, and in addition to being here in Washington, this university is a community of people. It's a community of people. Administrators, whom you'll meet. Faculty, whom you'll get to know. Staff, who are some of the best in the, in the world, or some of the best that I've ever experienced. And above all, students. Our student body is terrific. You will love your friends your peers whom you will meet here, I guarantee you. You know, it's the one thing I always say to other people, that's my third university. I know I look a lot younger than that, but I've been in three. The one characteristic about Catholic here that's amazing to me is how warm the students are and care and want for another immediately. Immediately they make friends. I've never seen that in any other place. I mean, good friends, lifelong friends. You'll be living and working with all kinds of people, lots of people, different people. People who are different from you. 
they have different ideas. They look different. They have different sets of values and experiences. As a Catholic university, I want to urge you, we want to urge you, to respect the dignity of every person, including those with whom you disagree. Fundamental basic respect for the dignity of every other person. And expect that for yourself. Demand that from your peers here. Respect is critically important in any community, but especially here. As a community, we seek to, to foster and to promote and to serve the common good. Not a bunch of lone rangers here. It's a community. We want to serve the common good in what we do in our classrooms, in our residence halls, throughout the campus. And so we have structures that we develop to support the common good here. And we have policies that we make and rules to support the structures. These are policies that we develop. And they're not up for grabs. This is not a democracy. Okay. Or you decide what we require. We tell you what we require and the behaviors that we expect on campus. There's a code of conduct to help guide the behavior. Become familiar with it. There is a student handbook that explains the code of conduct and our expectations of your behavior. Read it. And there's a judicial system that responds when the rules are broken. A couple quick things for you. The legal drinking age in Washington and at Catholic University is 21. Drugs and drugs paraphernalia, strange and antisocial behaviors and weapons are not welcome here. And sex is for married people, not undergraduates. We have rules. And we have policies governing all of that. And they're in the student handbook. The common good. That's why those rules exist. Trust me, and I'll say no more. We don't look the other way. We know people make mistakes, but we don't believe that they're mistakes when they're intentional. At that point, the choices that you make and there are consequences for every choice in life. And if you haven't learned it yet, you'll learn it here. So choose wisely. In the end of the day, I just want to say to you, don't waste our time and your mom and dad's hard-earned money. We don't give refunds. <laughs> My goal, friends, today is really to welcome you. <laughs> but I gotta tell it like it is. We want to encourage you, not discourage you. We don't want to bat you over the head. We don't want to scare. Well, we scare you. But we want to inspire you, really, to succeed, because that's what we're that's what we're all here for, so that you can succeed and that you can enjoy your lives, these wonderful years that God has given you here at the Catholic University of America. I promise, I promise that if we all work together, you will succeed, and you will enjoy, and the doors will open for you. Thank you very much.